Hi, my name is Curtis Miles, and I want to take you through a really quick demonstration of using IBM Smarter Process Portfolio in combination with mobile technologies to unlock business potential. And what I want to do is I want to take you through an example that has three players. Number one is Rachel. So Rachel Wilson works for a consumer electronics retailer called TechDirect, and she's the store manager. We have Dave Mitchell, who works for Global Inc., who is responsible for um, the procurement. All procurement that TechDirect does is done through Global Inc., and he's a procurement specialist. And also Wendy Howard. So Wendy is Dave's manager. And what we're going to see happen in this scenario is Rachel is actually going to be on the store floor and she's going to identify a stock shortage in a particular product and through her mobile device she's going to kick off a process and this is a picture of the process that she's going to kick off is the order fulfillment process that's run by Global Inc. She's going to start it off using her mobile device. Dave is going to get involved to take the information that Rachel has provided. He's going to create an order out of that information, further the process along. He's going to do that from his iPad and then we're going to see how Dave comes back later on at the next step that he's responsible for in the process and uses um, you know, his, uh, his laptop to actually interact with the process and complete a step from there. And then we're going to follow, finish off by seeing Wendy, Dave's manager, approve the work that Dave has done and she's going to be on her mobile device to do her part of the process. So let's go ahead and get started. So I want to you know, introduce you to this screen which shows Rachel's mobile application on the left hand side, TechDirect, so she's using this on, her, on the store floor. And in the larger part of the screen here, we just have a, a visual storyboard to help us keep track of what's going on as we're, as we're working through the scenario. So here's Rachel. She's on the store floor. She comes across a spot on the shelf that, uh, that is missing some product. And uh, as a result, she presses on her mobile app to scan the product details to figure out what product it was that was in this spot. And so she finds the barcode and, and goes ahead and scans that, at which point a request is made to the back-end store systems to pull information about this barcode and we see that it's for the Samsung Galaxy S4. She has the opportunity now to request some additional shelf stock as she does this, um, at which point we're about to run some business rules that, uh, that TechDirect has. So let's pretend for a minute that they've got lots of stock of the Galaxy S4. Let's say they have 150 units and then we go ahead and resume our story with 150 units that information is going to run through our business rules engine and as a result a notification pops up on Rachel's mobile device that says great we've got um, you know we've received this request for shelf stocking we've assigned this to Amir uh, Bakta who's going to be responsible for going and grabbing that product out of the store and bringing it out, to, out onto the shelves so at this point Rachel has kind of has she has finished she's um, made sure that that stock request is, is going to be taken care of uh, and we won't have that empty spot on our shelves anymore so let me go ahead and close that, that notification. But what I want to do now is I actually want to go ahead and rewind time a little bit. So we'll go back to the beginning of our story. And this time, we're going to pretend that we have far fewer units of our Galaxy S4 uh, in stock. So let me return my mobile app here to our, our home screen. And uh, once again, let's pretend that Rachel has come across that spot on the store shelves where she's you know, scanning the barcode. So we'll, we'll go through those steps again. And as she's scanning the barcode, it's you know just like we saw before, it's making the request to the backend system, pulling up information about the Galaxy S4. And we're going to request shelf stock again, just like we did last time. But when we have the opportunity here as our story pauses to adjust our inventory levels, let's pretend that we only have 20 units in stock. So far fewer than what we had before. And let me go ahead and, uh, and resume that have that request come back. We're going to run this new value of our inventory level through our inventory business rules. And as a result, we see a slightly different notification being popped up for Rachel. So instead of just informing us that Amir is going to be assigned to bring some product out of the storeroom, we've actually detected that our inventory is considered low. And so uh, an order to replenish the stock has automatically been sent to the supplier. Okay, and so if you remember back to our business process, this is where Global Inc. gets involved. So the request has just been made automatically, triggered from Rachel's mobile device to Global Inc. to go and procure some more Galaxy S4 units for, uh, for TechDirect. So at this point, Rachel can acknowledge that message. She can close it, um, come back here, and she can continue on with her work, knowing that this procurement request now sits in the hands of, of Global Inc. Now, before we move on, 
to our Global Inc. perspective on the story, what I want to do is just quickly dive behind the scenes to those business rules that determined whether or not we needed to go and procure more product or whether we actually had sufficient inventory levels um, to continue operations. So I'm going to lo log into the IBM Decision Center. So this is our business rule management system, which is designed to be used by a line of business individuals to be able to make changes to their business policies and really to see how the business rules are affecting operations. So let me log in here to my decision center. And as I log into the decision center, I come into the, um, uh, the explore tab here, which will show me the, the different categories of business rules that I have. And we can see that I've got some called action determination. So let me lo open those up. And I have a number of different business rules that are, are part of this particular catalog. But the ones that we're interested in right now is our stock replacement quantity table. So if I just pop this open quickly, what we'll see here is exactly why we made the decision to actually go ahead and start that procurement process with Global Inc. based on our inventory level. So if you follow this table over, you can see that we were dealing with the Galaxy S4. In one case, we had less than 100 units left, and in one case, we had more. So when we had more than 100 units, there was nothing to do, right? We didn't have to go and start a procurement process. Our decision was, was made for us. When there's less than 100 units, we can have additional criteria. Here I've just used month of the year, but you could add as many columns here as you wanted to kind of further um, filter this decision. And we can see that um, depending on the month that we're in, we can decide whether or not we want to start a procurement process and what the quantity is that we might want to procure. So, you know, are we getting ready for the Christmas rush? Um, you know, what are the different characteristics that would determine how many units at any given time we want to procure? So all of this was evaluated automatically behind the scenes when Rachel went and actually scanned that, uh, that spot on the store shelves. Okay, so let's come back to our story here. And what we're going to do is switch gears a little bit and we're going to move on to Dave. So Dave is actually currently in a meeting, um, but he's got his iPad with him. And as he receives this notification from Rachel, you know, that, that represents the fact that Rachel is requesting um, some a procurement activity here for Global Inc. Up pops this notification. We see that Tech Direct Store 182 needs some Samsung Galaxy S4s. So because he's in a meeting, he closes that notification, but he knows to come back to that, you know, during the break. Um, so that he can take some action on that as quickly as possible. And so during the break, he pops up his task list, and there's the create order task. So he starts that up, and he's now actually interacting with the process, right? So he's completing a step of the process here from his mobile application on his iPad without having to worry about being, you know, going back to his desk or, you know, being at his, at his laptop to get this done. So he can do it in the context of wherever he is. So he, we see the indication here that we've got, uh, you know, a couple hundred units that need to be procured for this Galaxy S4. We've got lots of information that, that Dave can use to make the decision here in terms of what uh, suppliers he's going to request, uh, offer some quotes for this particular uh, procurement activity. So he identifies the suppliers that he wants to send this out to and submits it. And, um, and, and so those suppliers are now going to respond with their quote for how much they would charge to provide these particular units to um, detect direct. And so as we continue on with our story, uh, we're actually going to come back to Dave. So this is a little while later and he's maybe back in the office now. And we're going to give Dave an opportunity to uh, take a look at where we are at in the process. So he's going to log into the process portal, which is another uh, way that we can interact with the process. So this is truly a multi-channel um, environment, opportunities here to, to complete our process steps from a variety of means. And let's just pop open that process diagram to see where we are and um, you know what steps have already occurred. So we can see the create order. There's Dave's picture in the corners indicating that he's done that step. We've sent our vendor requests out. And there we are at the select fulfillment option step. Uh, and so that's what this task is on his task list. So let's open that up and claim that as Dave. So we're going to perform that select fulfillment step, which basically means picking which of the suppliers based on the quotes that they sent back uh, that we want to go with. And so we can see the three options. So Dave's going to pick Majestic Inc. as the supplier for the Galaxy S4s for TechDirect. Um, and now it's done. So he's completed that off of his to-do list. His task list is now um, clear of that particular task and, uh, and he can continue on with his other work. So now what I want to do is bring up Wendy. So this is Wendy's mobile device and she's actually on the golf course at the moment, but she, as, as Dave's manager, is responsible for actually 
validating the work that Dave's done, so making sure that he made the right decision here, or just kind of approving it in terms of the selection of Majestic as a supplier. So, you know, she finishes, you know, she puts out on the third hole and gets back to her cart, checks her mobile phone, and sure enough, there's a task waiting for her. Um, this is the review task that's going to be assigned to her after Dave has completed his last step. And so she opens up her task list, and there's the manager approval task, so she opens that up. And she has lots of information, again, right on her phone that she has access to in order to determine, you know, whether or not she wants to approve the decision that Dave has made in the selection of Majestic. And in this case, it's okay, so she clicks the approve button. Um, and at which point, up on, on uh, Rachel's mobile application pops this notification in real time saying, hey, you know what, we just want to let you know that the procurement activity is finished, the, the goods are on their way to you, and, um, and you know, this process has completed. And we've seen throughout this demonstration how we've been able to interact with the process from the role of the, the end customer as Rachel. Um, Dave's been able to work with the process both through his mobile device as well as uh, from his desktop. And Wendy, as the manager, was able to do some approval steps while she was on the golf course. So lots of different ways to unlock business potential uh, here in our story.